Hey guys, so in case you weren't aware, I am not where I normally am. I am currently in the practice rooms at Roosevelt University's uh, Chicago College of Performing Arts, CCPA. I don't... My boyfriend goes here. I'm visiting him. Um, I'm in a tiny practice room. And I had very few ideas. And someone asked me about fluid hygiene, which is kind of a bizarre topic, but I thought we would talk about it a little bit. Um, so... You obviously always want to swab. These are really nice swabs, they're called flute flags. Um, there's a couple other people who make them. They're basically suede on a plastic stick. They're kind of expensive, but you only ever have to buy one and you can wash them. Um, you just like rinse them off and use a little um, laundry detergent and then they dry and they're super, super nice. And they're really, really good for your flutes because they don't uh, affect the pads in any way or anything like that. Um, this is the traditional cleaning rod. Um, your flute will basically always come with one. I use men's handkerchiefs, um, which I know is really weird and old school. My old, my first teacher was super old school, so that's why. Um, and you just thread it through, all that. Um, it's, you obviously have to wash them regularly, and it's, sometimes can get caught in your keys and, like, interact with the metal and and the pads and just not the greatest option. Um, I hate winger modules, but this is happening. Um, then there's this, which is a microfiber cloth. Microfiber cloth. I have no idea if you can wash these, um, but since I just use it to like wipe down my head joint and things like that and just get fingerprints off, I don't seem too worried about it. I try to wipe down my flute after every time I play or at least at the end of the day. So that way it doesn't tarnish or anything like that. And sometimes your case can interact with the metal. Like, I'm having issues where my joints are tarnishing right now. Um, which I think is my case. So I just try to make sure that I wipe it down and make sure that everything's okay. And then this, which I'm not going to take out of the bag, is a silver infused um, polishing cloth. Or silver polish infused cloth. Um, there's two sides. There's a white side, which is how you get all the dirt off. And then the silver side, gray side... That you can see through the bag is a um, polishing cloth, like it's a finishing cloth. Um, yeah, you when you are polishing a flute, you obviously want to stay away from the actual keywork. So in here, don't try that unless you're a repair person and can take all the keys off. You're gonna break something or bend a spring or do something. So just that wasn't as scary as it looked. I promise. Um, like, the body of the flute is fine. The keys are fine. Like, places like here... Sorry. Where you can actually really get into the... F into that where without any problem, that's fine. Um, also, you probably want to avoid silver polishing the lip plate because then you will get a um, silver polish beard, and that's just not that great. Um... If you are having tuning issues, the first thing you want to do is check the cork. Um, all cleaning rods will have a little notch system. Where is the camera? Um, on the end of the cleaning rod, I'm hoping you can see that. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick that end, so the opposite end, into your head joint. And if the line is in the center-ish, um, it can be a little off, but you don't want it to be like on one end of the of the embouchure hole, then it's the, your cork is fine and you don't have to adjust it. If you do have to adjust it, if you know what you're doing, then do. If you don't, bring it to a professional. Don't try to do anything on your flute that you are uncomfortable with. You will break something. And flutes are expensive, as everyone knows. Um, with storage and keeping your and keeping your flute in good condition, um, you don't specially need to humidify your instrument because it's not wood, um, so that's not necessary. It probably will ruin your pads at some point. I just don't mess with that. Um, never keep anything in your case. No cloths. Like, your cloth should be away from the flute, not in the hard body case. It should. It can get, get into the pads. It can mess with them. Um, I really don't like those fuzzy things that people put in, like, the, the, way, the ones that saxophones always use. They make them for flutes. I really don't like them. I don't know if they're bad for the instrument, but I have to assume they are, considering that, like, a cleaning cloth can affect your pads. 
So I wouldn't go there. If you're going to buy a special swab, buy a flute flag. Just And don't ever leave anything in your case besides your flute. <laughs> it's basically... I mean, some people have those polish or, like, tarnish things. Those are okay, but I don't know how much they do. So it's not really worth it. Um, and you generally want an outer case. So, like, here's my normal case. The tape is because I tape pa pieces of paper to the doors that I use so people can't see in. <laughs> um, and then I have the outer nice leather case, which came with my hands. Um, Altieri makes a really nice one if you don't have one. Um, Protec makes them too. And that'll keep some of the moisture out um, if you always use it. It keeps some of the humidity out because the hard cases aren't super, super good at keeping moisture and things like that out. So then you have this. I know it looks like a Powell case. Haynes and Powell have the same case, my case makers right now. Um, yeah, that's basically flute hygiene 101. Um, if you're trying someone's instrument, you want to use alcohol swabs unless you're me and you're allergic, in which case water very, very carefully and hope that you, and, or like ask to be the first one to trial. Um, don't just hope you're not allergic to rubbing alcohol is basically what I'm saying. Um, but if you're trying head joints or whole flutes, you want to wipe down the lip plate, um, and maybe even with, even in with the riser with a little alcohol swab, you can get them anywhere. Like the ones you get in first aid kits are totally fine. Um, and then wipe it off a little bit so you aren't leaving the moisture on the instrument. But yeah, um, rubbing alcohol to sanitize head joints. That's really the only option we have. Um, and you should do it because if you're trialing, it means that other people have trialed that instrument and yeah. Um, so this has been a weird slightly ad hoc video using an iPad in a practice room. I hope this is helpful and I will see you guys next week from Cleveland also with a slightly ad hoc video using an iPad. <laughs>